Good morning. It is around 6 a.m. Um, of day six today. So um, I'm gonna do some planning for small group now, which will be around at 10.30. Um, but before that, I'm gonna be teaching from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then hopefully between 10 and 10.30, I'll be able to get, um, I'll, be, I'll be able to eat my breakfast. Um, but yes, I'm gonna do some planning work now and then teach a little bit later. It is just past 10 a.m. I finished teaching for the day. Breakfast arrived. I actually um, had a banana in the last like 20 minutes of my lesson because I was so hungry. Um, but let's take a look at what we have for breakfast. It looks pretty good. We have hard boiled egg, um, potatoes, and some carrots here. I think this is more carrot or maybe sweet potato and corn and congee. And a bean curd wrapped with probably more, I don't know, probably fungus mushroom or something inside there. Um, so I have about half an hour now to eat this. Uh, I also got a delivery from the hotel because I asked for more ho um, towels and tissues. And then I'm gonna call my dad quickly before I have fellowship and then we'll have, yeah, fellowship and then probably lunch soon after. Good afternoon, it is almost 12.30. I just finished um, fellowship and my heart is so full. I feel encouraged and I feel energized. I hope this energy lasts for a while. Um, I'm going to, I think lunch just arrived, I think I just heard them uh, bring it, but I'm gonna have lunch I think and then get working on this paper. So for lunch today we have the tomatoes again and we've got some veggies, um, we've got some mushrooms, carrots and some kind of a gua, so some kind of a, um, what's, I don't even know what a gua is, uh, some kind of a melon in, in English. It is almost 6.30, so I had about a four hour nap. <laughs> um, but dinner just arrived, so I'm gonna have it and then get more writing done. So, for dinner today, we have some more veggies. We have some, I think, well, carrots, and then I think maybe more radish and white radish and some kind of melon gua uh, with some veggies and rice. So today's song of the day is by Janice Vidal, like Vidal, um, Wailan, and the song is called It's Okay to Be Sad. Um, I'm kind of cheating because I've actually known this song for a while now, like half a year or so, um, but it's a very good song and I think it actually ties really well with what I was talking about today in um, our small group times. We were talking about mindfulness, so I think you can tell with the title right away, it's called It's Okay to Be Sad, so she sings about giving yourself permission to grieve, to be sad, and to not pretend, and to really be aware of your emotions. Um, and the the bridge or the course is actually in the, like the bridge, the later bridge course, is actually in English. Um, and it goes, it's okay to be sad, it's okay to lose your mind, um, life is not a childhood fantasy, sometimes it appears to have no mercy, you may want to pretend, but the way you laugh is a tragedy. Um, it's okay to be sad, it's okay to lose your mind. Um, when life brings the darkest misery, let us be your strongest energy. And every time she sings to this part, I get like super touched because I'm like, yeah, like definitely, you know, um, I, I love what she's singing there. But also her voice is like super smooth. Um, and something that's really cool about Janice actually, her and her sister, I think her twin sister, uh, Jill, 
they're both actually both live in Hong Kong, but they're of Korean and Filipino and uh, Filipino and a bit of Chinese descent. But they actually can't read Chinese, so they rely on romanization to be able to sing. And for anybody who can speak Cantonese, like each um, syllable or like each sound has nine different sounds. So I find that Cantonese is very very difficult to speak well, um, and. Like using romanization is very very difficult. I know like I learned Mandarin um, as a child and there's only four different sounds which wasn't you know the easiest thing to learn already but there's only four different sounds and whereas Cantonese there's nine and it's a lot more difficult to learn I find and to be able to say it well. So to be able to sing it like with romanization purely and like at our concerts my friend was telling me how like um, you know sometimes um, Singers will have the lyrics kind of on the screen or like what's it called teleprompter something like that like so that the singers can see it but like Janice actually memorizes all her lyrics which I find is like very very impressive so um, you know yay Janice um, I definitely love this song um, the music video actually the first time I watched it um, I was like quite touched so there's a music video for the song but it's also like a kind of a background story that's a different video for the music video and like I was really touched by both of them so um, um, you know, go, go give it a watch. I will say that um, it, yeah, it gets pretty deep and it tackles some pretty deep issues. But um, yeah, definitely go watch it um, if you're interested. It's a very, very good song. She's a great singer. Um, and yes, that is today's song of the day. So paper writing is going okay. I'm about a quarter of the way through, and it's been pretty easy to write. I think that's because of all the planning I did. But I'm kind of bored, so I'm gonna have a cup noodle. This flavor is prawn flavor. So we will see. Is this focusing? We will see how this tastes. So the cup noodle was pretty yummy. I didn't realize there was dehydrated pork, so I had to pick that out, but it was still good. Um, I think I probably ate like three or four tiny little dehydrated prawns, but it was pretty good. Um, a little bit salty, um, but still pretty good. So it is almost 9 p.m. I'm just gonna spend the rest of the evening writing, so I don't really have much to vlog about, uh, but yeah, today was a little bit more boring. Thank you so much for watching anyways. I think my mom might bring me a delivery tomorrow, so that should be more interesting. But this is the end of day six, um, and thank you for watching. I will catch you tomorrow.